Hey guys, it's your girl Miss G and as always, I'm back with another video. Allegedly, Princess Love wants a divorce from Ray J. The two were at the Soul Trains Awards in Las Vegas and things didn't go quite as planned. Ray J spent a couple of hours with his friends and there were strippers involved and you know what happened after. Apparently, Ray J loves Las Vegas so much that he wants to move his family to Las Vegas and Princess does not feel that that's a proper environment to raise their kids. Especially since Ray J likes to gamble and, you know, be in that glam light and be around females. So at this point, Princess is tired of it and just wants them to be separated because Ray J doesn't want to follow the rules. He feels that she's bossy and demanding and that she's the head one in the relationship and it's not. So I'm going to show you guys a video of what Princess stated in her live video yesterday so you guys have an idea of what is going on. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe down below. Bye, guys. <laughs> Leave me a blown, A1. <laughs> so he, I found this phone that he had. I went through it. I confronted him about it. He was honest. Well, he tried to lie at first. He was honest. And um, he basically admitted that he had been entertaining you know, some women, the stay women, because my baby's right here. And, you know, I told him, just be honest with me. If, you, if you're honest with me, then we can get through it. And he, um, he pretty much made it seem like he did it because we had been arguing a lot lately. And so I'm like, okay, well, we have another baby on the way. I just want to be on the same page. Let's just um let's just put it behind us one last time and let's just move forward right we're gonna have better communication you know like we can have kids but if we don't have some type of like foundation communication then it'll never work so so I, we put it behind us so we come to vegas for the soul train awards and he he i didn't want to come but he asked me to come and melody to come because he wanted us to come to the show so we come we're here for about two days and he asked me to move to vegas and I'm like, no, I don't want to move to Vegas. And so he's like, well, can you at least consider it? And I'm like, no, I don't want to move to Vegas. It's like, it's not even, not even, not even considering it. I don't want to move to Vegas. This is not the place to have kids. This is not a place to raise your kids. And I just don't like it here. It's too many distractions. You know, you, you already like to gamble. There's way too many parties going on every night. And this is not the place that I want to be. So I said, sarcastically, I said, well, you can move to Vegas, but I'm going to be in L.A. And so he got really mad and said that he, um, you know, he's trying to move our family somewhere where we can be like a little bit more stable. And I basically said like Vegas is not the place that I want to be. Like, why can't you just respect that? I don't want to move to Vegas. We could move anywhere else. I just don't want to move to Vegas. And so he gets mad and he's like, why would you tell me I could move to Vegas? You just want to live in two different places. And I'm like, I'm not really serious. Like I'm not really saying, yeah, babe, move to Vegas and I'm gonna be in LA. We can live in two different places. I'm being sarcastic. So I took it as him just trying to find any reason to leave. So he left and didn't come back. He was out the whole night. And so the next morning, I didn't call him or anything because I'm like, okay, maybe he just wants to hang out with his friends, whatever. He'll be here by the time I wake up. So I wake up, he's still not here and I'm like, so when, the next morning, I'm like, so you really want to just 
stay out all night off of some fake argument that we had. Like, you can't really be serious. And he's like, you're selfish. All you do is think about yourself. You just, you want to wear the pants in the relationship. You want to be the king of the house, like all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, and then he said, um, what, what made me mad is because every time we get into an argument, he starts talking about or alluding to like getting a divorce or saying, um, as long as I get to see my kids, it's like, why do you got to take it there? So I said, you know what? I said, with the way you just get up and leave and disappear, I got to get back to LA and I got to get my mind right before this baby comes because with the way you move, I'm liable to be alone at any given moment. And so he said, well, I'm preparing to be alone too, as long as I can see my kids Monday through Wednesday. I said, okay, well, we can just be separated then. And so he's like, not before I file first. You know, so the conversation got really, really ugly. We started like, you know, getting real disrespectful. And then so he blocked me. So I couldn't call him, couldn't get in contact with him. It was time for me to check out the room. He left. He never came back. Didn't tell me where he was going. Um, didn't hear back from him. So I had to check out the next day. And we and so we ended up checking out of the hotel because it was time to check out. And then I ended up checking up, checking into another hotel. And we're in another hotel right now. We are not where Ray is in the Skylofts. I have not talked to him. He has not unblocked me. He has not called me, hasn't checked on me or Melody. Um... So we're just here and my car is here and I'm trying to figure out a way to drive my car back.